My next speaker is Lee Herzog of Lurch Bates Facade Access Consulting Group, and Lee is going to speak to the facade access challenges at Burj Dubai. Lee, it's yours. Thank you all for being here. I'm pleased to be here as well. Um, I've had the pleasure of working on facade access equipment for uh, about 35 years. Um, how do you do the tallest building in the world? You start out by doing the world's tallest building in the world, and the world's tallest building in the world, and the world's tallest building in the world. And we're there again. And this one, I think, is going to be a real challenge for the rest of the world. Um, in my research for the, my presentation here today, I went back and uh, found the first commercial for uh, window washing. What, what, we, what I did here actually is looked at all the systems that are available and to see how they could apply to this project. Okay. Uh, these first few units are uh, actually runway machines uh, with telescopic masts. Uh, they literally run on a concrete runway. And uh, at the, initially, we thought we might have apply these type machines at the upper levels. And again, there's no tie down other than the counterweight of the, pro of the machine itself, the BMU itself. Uh, on this type of machine, we have a track in the back. We have a, uh, literally a concrete runway in the front. Uh, we have luffing features, telescopic articulating arms to put the, th the uh, platform in place. We went to roof track systems. We looked at various uh, levels. And again, with this sealed building, uh, all of these telescopic mast and telescopic boom uh, solutions, luffing features, all came in. We looked at tracks on an incline. We had some very tight radiuses because of the size of the setbacks rack and pinion, counterweighted platforms, with again, luffing booms, fixed booms. Then we have uh, inclined plane with, uh, with radiuses that then have to keep the, the spreader bar to keep the platform level. Uh, once you have a, a BMU on an inclined plane, uh, you have concerns about a runaway condition, developed uh, methods of interlocking, both electrical and mechanical. We have uh, obstruction bars below the platforms. Uh, since there are setbacks in the building, uh, there's a lot of just metal to clean. We looked at having parapet tracks uh, and parapet tracks at an angle. We looked at pipe tracks and that's how we really got to the point of the pipe track on the outside of the building, which were, have became an architectural feature in effect.
we it ended up at the upper portions of the building, the upper setbacks. It turned out that we didn't have room to run track systems, so we actually have fixed booms, and there'll be a later uh, animation on, on how they operate. But this gave us the ability to be fixed in one place, telescopic boom with articulating features in order to get down and uh, over and into the recessed areas. Again, counterweighted platforms so that they uh, are able to reach underneath soffits. We have on these uh, low-rise buildings, we have sunscreens, luffing booms, so that we get over the parapet, we have both the boom in an upright position and then lower down to stay behind the parapet so it's not visible. And again, the luffing features allow us so there's no silhouette uh, above the parapets. To determine the number of machines on the, on the Burj, we first determined the amount of surface area to clean determined by the owner's requirements uh, how often it should be cleaned and thereby we can determine how many PMUs we needed for the project. Um, as it turned out, the, uh, the shape required three machines at each of the lower levels uh, with the ability to both articulate and telescope. Um, and they must rotate. And again, because of the setbacks, with this boom had the telescope. It goes off the screen here. The articulating features on the low rise, we have to get underneath the sunscreens. So again, the counterweighted platform and the articulating counterweight allow us to reach underneath. On the Burj, we do not have mullion tracks. We have what's called a guide rope system. So there's a series of ISAs, which is intermittent stabilization anchors. There's a soft rope on the, on the cradle, two spools of soft rope, and they are attached to the ISA, and that keeps us stabilized and keeps us to the face of the building in, in windy conditions. Again, the counterweighted, different manufacturers have different types and uh, methods of articulating the platform. This articulation is done different, uh, but uh, again, it enables us to get underneath the soffits, underneath the, the overhangs, any setbacks on the building. That's where we've attached our stabilization. Again, another counterweighted platform. Articulate the counterweight. Telescopic mass, telescopic boom. Rotatable spreader bar. Enable us to line up with the face of the building. And on the low rise, we have some gantries, both inside and outside to enable us to clean the skylights or access the skylights on the inside and the outside. There were places where the, where the atrium uh, lights of glass were rotated, sorry, radius, and so we had to come up with some designs that allow us to contour the, the gantry and to, to get the worker at the right location on the radius. Rolling ladder, again, radius. And this, uh, this gantry actually follows that wave effect. And in the meantime, it must remain level for the workers. 
This is a, a Coltac track. It's something that's used in Europe a great deal. But it's, and it, the problem is that it, it does create a halo effect on the building, and which is usually not acceptable to an architect, but on the, some places that's the only thing that's available and usable. And this is uh, backed by popular demand here. This is the verge and the solution. So at each of these three levels where we have the pipe, we have three BMUs, which operate out of almost the closet. We didn't have any depth because of the, 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 the size of the machine room. We were very restrictive. So we engaged the pipes that Adrian had put on the building here. We have uh, a telescopic mast. We have a luffing boom, so it puts us back in the face of the building. We're able to take these contours, both inside turns and outside turns. As we go down the face of the building, we're attaching from these, these soft rope reels, we're attaching the ISAs to keep us stabilized. And where you see the three pipe levels, that's where we have each of the three BMUs. When we reach a setback, we transfer on a pipe, uh, on a pipe track that's on the edge of the setback. So there's no connection shown here, but we're able to, again, stay stabilized into the building. What we don't want to happen is this thing to be blowing out in the breeze here. Uh, many of these uh, slides and photographs were provided by different manufacturers. Um, they're listed here. They're from Spain, Australia, uh, Germany, uh, New Zealand, and the Netherlands. We do have an office here in Dubai, Lurch Bates does, um, and located in the Crown Plaza office complex, and we're locally staffed. 